okay everybody I got new spark plugs for the tracker boat because if we look at the old the old plugs look pretty rich I checked the timing and it was pretty advanced uh, but if we just check our spark plugs we have no continuity no resistance so this plug is no good this one no continuity no resistance so then this third one and I filled it see 44 ohms 44 and a half ohms so this one's kind of okay so we had two foul plugs which is why it wouldn't start <clears throat> of course I'll have to gap these but if we just test these brand new Stabilize uh, about 50 ohms, so it won't show continuity, but it'll show resistance. <clears throat> so I like to check my plugs before I put them in there because I have gotten a bad plug before, but that's why. It's running real rich. So when I actually clean these plugs off, should have probably shown that. Yeah, that's 52. So I'm guessing... I don't know what the ohms are supposed to be on these. I wish somebody made a chart. And I'm sure they do. Somewhere, somebody's got a chart. Kind of guessing somewhere between... I don't know, 40, 45 ohms to, to they say 55 ohms, something like that. So these are good plugs. I'll just have to gap them. And on that motor, Mercury, you know, they started putting the uh, <clears throat> plug and the gap on a little sticker on the engines. I'm not sure when they started doing that. Uh... A lot of the older ones, I'll I'll just ride it on on the cowling somewhere, or like on the engine somewhere. So that way, if I get ever get it again, I'll just I know what it is. These were really oily, fouled, so that timing was advanced. I think when I checked it, it was like eight degrees after top dead center. And I looked in the book and it should have been two degrees after Ted top dead center or between two degrees after top dead center and two degrees before top dead center so I think I got it close to zero right now these all look the same you can see it's very and it's probably the engine is a little bit carved up it has some carbon buildup in it just from all the extra oil and they were definitely wet when I got them out so that tells me it's getting fuel just fine and it's a very clean motor so um, but yeah these I, I just wiped them off cleaned them off but you can still see you know what it kind of looks like anyway they got fouled out because all the extra fuel uh, well, the timing was off. It couldn't burn the fuel. So, uh, which was a good thing in some regards because if it's running rich, it means it's getting good, lots of good oil. But we don't want it to run rich. We want it to run right. So then the advanced timing is like 24 degrees. Uh, before top dead center, I believe. But the the little CDI module will bring it like if it was wide open throttle at 24 degrees, 
it'll settle it back down to 22 it said uh, usually it's about four degrees with modern fuels but this is a 2008 so it probably only drops at a couple degrees I doubt that he's rarely ever running it just wide open throttle uh, especially the prop he has on it and the way he has it set up these are uh, by the way a NGK plug this is what it calls for BPZ8H dash in 10 all right you guys replacing some throttle and ship cables there goes the weed eater uh, it's on a tracker 2008 tracker uh, throttle shift cable ADM 0082534 uh, and the thing is that if you read this so if you read this it says when to replace a cable excessive free player stiffness felt and control shape broken vent or loose parts so you know and then it tells you to avoid tight or sharp bends avoid heat yeah anyway do not lubricate core keep ends clean and dry So on these ship cables, both of these guys, they have a broken sheathing. And if you measure these, so I got a measure tape out here. And you want to go from where this connects is pretty typical mercury so it's going to connect in the control box here and then we're just going to take this and measure it we're going to start there we're just going up the line going up this line and then what you want to do See, it says, it's going to be hard to read because I got this tape in the way. Put that on earlier because I don't know, have it. I'm trying to hold this. But if we see, you're supposed to measure the bottom of this. Okay. We're 11 feet is here. And we're at 11 and 7 sixteenths. Okay, everybody, on this tracker, so I hit it, ended up having to pull the beauty piece, the side panel off, uh, and actually even slightly moved the console in order to get this out. I really need to go a little further to get it back in, but I'm going to put the cables back on it and then uh, we're gonna put this back in so that's what i had to do on the tracker in order to get this started it shouldn't take too long and then we'll just route them down through here and then i'll have to put this back and put all the screws back in it which i have up there yeah i got this two cable screws up here Put this together. Gotta to push it back down in here. Got my little Tim McGraw. I didn't work for Tim McGraw. I got this shirt. Working a stagehand deal. Well, I needed some extra money. But yeah. I think Tim's old front house guy. He, he's a good engineer. Good guy too. But 
Yeah, this one was kind of a pain. Just because I had to get this all loose in the tracker. I ain't big on trackers. I know a lot of guys love their trackers. I don't care for them. Just kind of think they're cheap. They're made cheap anyway. Cheap switches. There, no boat's made to last forever, I guess. Alright, so now I got that back on. Uh, I gotta fish it down in here, which was kind of a pain. So I don't even know if I can do it with that camera sitting right there. Got it back together. It's got to line up the holes. Take a little time. It's nice and smooth now. Even in reverse. Which, I'll have to adjust all that, but so like I got my cables laid out. I could tell which one's what. So that one on the left is our shift, and that one on the right our throttle so it's only it's not adjusted right because it's just hit right there so I'll have to adjust it when I get it on the motor make sure that our prop is freely spinning and we're in neutral and then now I can slide this stuff all back where it was and go ahead and lock it down and be done with this deal. Yeah. Anyway, you got a big old swim bait playing up here. <laughs> That's funky looking. Okay. I I have these heads. I don't know. That's cool though. I need to cut it off some and move it up. Yeah, we're getting her. What a pain. What a pain in the old hoose guy. It ain't gonna stay, is it? It's gonna shoot right in here. I'm just getting these bolts started. It's real kind of bugger. Should probably use my impact gun. But... Just gonna make sure I'm starting here. Alright, so I know this is my shift and I know this is my throttle. So I'm just gonna got my little paint pin and I'm gonna just put shift like S and T. And then well put them on the motor and have to adjust them. Alright, so this is our shift. We gotta go through the rubber grommet. Put that one on first. It just slides into the slot. And then this clips up there like so. Make sure yeah, our prop is spinning both ways. So we know we're in neutral. And then we just need to adjust this barrel so that it's Yeah, you 
more. And now we're a little too fast. Yeah, that's about right. And this will set like when I get them. Right. This will set kind of down in there. Wind up here. And then this is our our throttle. Just gonna bring it up this way. And then I know that I'm I'm right here. Put the group on this. Or am I? No, I am not. Take a little jam nut wash, plastic washer, not on a washer. This is close. We want it all the way up to there. So I'm hold tight against the end. Just a hair off. I want to pull it taut, so we need to come. So we need to go this way. That's about right. This up, slide that in the little keeper. And now we're we're on. And that should be good. We need to put our little plastic keeper on this. So I don't have it up here. Let me just maybe do this. No. Seven sixteenths. No. Let's see here. Ten. Ten. Ten millimeter. Alright. Now I'll get to review the tape because it works new. That else man. Oh yeah, it goes in reverse a lot farther than There's one. And we had our throttle stop. I think that's our throttle stop. And then our other stop would be right here. And it stopped there. Perfect. And then our prop is in over here. Bands. 
we're in reverse. So good. Now we can fire this thing up and test it out. Okay, I got our new button. It's got to go on the remote down here. And that one's 891645A01. 